Before we start the episode, just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of our listeners and viewers who have been here since the beginning with our new set. We loved all the positive comments. If you can go ahead and subscribe, if you're not subscribed, like the video, leave a comment, share it with a friend. It really helps the show. Um, 2024 is going to be a big year for us. Oh, big thanks. Come and I uh, just wanted to say thank you to the color blue for sponsoring today's episode. <laughs> Why, why are we making fun of me? What's the joke? Well, Carly's wearing a monochrome <laughs> blue okay. you, highlighter. You like, yeah, you look like Violet Beauregard. <laughs> Violet? You turned in Violet. She's like the bubblegum champion. Do you want the this? Blue looks bottle? really good with my eyes. Mmm, roast beef and mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the same stuff for us, Violet. No, you look good. I think it's cute. It is, it is. I think it is really cute. We like, just never Aaron's make silent. fun of you, Carly. <laughs> that means she doesn't like no, it. No, it's cute. Is that is that royal <laughs> blue or is that cerulean? A girl, I don't know. That's royal. It's just blue. It's like the perfect blue. Did you do like a TikTok color? matching to see what you're if you're a warm summer or a cool winter i want to do that no yeah we do want to do that no i already know i look good in blues and you look so good in blue you look so good can in i see blue. your eyes I was, hmm. by the way hmm. i was listening to that song yesterday and i finally understood what he meant like choking her yep oh yeah wait oh who's? what what Fall out boy like she she's so turning blue, blue because what song she's is that so women like a look in around your throat. I don't know the name. Right. Around nobody your put, throat? Nobody puts baby in the corner. Oh, yes. I think. You look so good. And then I, I, it, yeah. I, it hit me. Because yeah. like when you're a kid, you don't think of that. I actually do that. I was just like, yeah, talk? I look so good in blue. <laughs> He's Maybe. not talking about, oh, I'm going to strangle yeah. her. Is it more like she's in an abusive relationship no, and it seems like. Wear me like a locket around your throat. I'll lay you down and watch you choke. Jesus. You look so good in blue. Yeah, we're not like that. Drink down your gin and kerosene. That's a different song. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> Same album, though. Kerosene. Actually, no, different album. Uh, different album, mm. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Maybe wow. that's... No, same album. You look so good in blue. You, you look, look so good when you're crazy. choking. Dead. <laughs> you, you guys all have blue eyes, huh? No. Yours are like greenish. Mine are green. <laughs> They're actually green? Yeah. Is that a real color? Yeah, green. Or it's like hazel. Yeah, it's, like my it's, eyes change color. My no, like, eyes are green. Nobody has green like the color of grass. Yes, yes. my green. eyes are literally green. They're like blue green. No, they're not. My eyes are full green. But like on a, on a standard like dry. Damn, they are. <laughs> You can't like tell me what color. My I mean, eyes are. I feel like people either have Black. like brown or blue, and that's it. No but, green. Like, on a standard driver's license, does yours say green or hazel? Green. Oh wow. What's hazel? <laughs> Hazel. Green, like mixed. brown. It's a type of nut it's like they brown use to green. make Nutella. I understand what hazel nut is, but like hazel it, color. It's like brown green. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mine are just green. My dad has like hazel eyes. So does mine. Behind these, these hazel, hazel eyes. eyes. I think green is the most, we're Rare? like the 1%. Yeah. I, I always feel like successful people all do not have brown eyes. And the fact that I'm like <laughs> uh, like doing this podcast with a bunch of non-brown eyed people, I feel like I'm a little bit of imposter syndrome. I love my eyes. Yes. I mean, yeah. If what I do you mean by successful people? Just like you see like an actor who's like maybe not the most attractive, but then you look at their eyes and they got the blue eyes. I'm like, that's it's why they're Taylor an actor. Taylor Swift have blue eyes. Okay. Yeah. So like, like, like successful people have blue like and van green. Vanity. Like their careers are around like their sense of beauty. No, or but like, even but like singers CEO, too. Like a CEO. CEO has blue eyes is like no I mean like in entertainment like okay uh, like an actor or a singer and you're just like huh are they really that attractive and then you get a look on <laughs> their eyes and then they got the blue eyes or the green eyes or the hazel eyes you're never seeing like an A-lister with brown eyes a Kim Kardashian I feel like a lot of A-listers Selma have brown Hayek eyes. no but all the Kardashians <laughs> I'm saying okay maybe I can rephrase this standard issue white people <laughs> with brown <laughs> eyes easy. <laughs> Easy, buddy. It's. It, I think if you're maybe like you know not from a white European country, okay, then you can then then obviously you're not gonna have blue <laughs> eyes. Like that's like what I typed into Google: a list white people with brown eyes, and the first thing that comes up is: Are white people with brown eyes actually white people? What? What? I mean, we're not gonna do. Okay. A racially yes. it's, this is a racial episode. podcast. Yeah. I but wasn't planning. On I just it. feel like I notice people that have brown, like I notice people have blue and green and hazel eyes that are in the entertainment industry. Winona Ryder, brown. I, that's interesting. I guess that's interesting. It's that like you it's point like a little because I don't think that I. It's like a bonus thing that people get if you're just like 
it's just like, oh, yep, you get a little bit of a boost from not having you brown eyes. You don't think that maybe you just notice that when you see a famous person? I think that me as a person who has brown eyes, I notice when people don't have brown eyes. I'm like, damn, they got they got the bonus card in life. Hmm. When you were talking to Lady Gaga, what were her eyes Oh, not I can't brown? remember. I can't remember Lady Gaga. That's her a good question. Probably, I feel like, she, like, like Lady Gaga Hazel? is probably someone who has non-brown eyes. I mean, yeah. Lady Gaga does have blue eyes, but she has like a very like dark blue. I it's think it's giving... so sick that people have blue eyes. It's cr- like, it blows my mind. I wish I had blue eyes. Gaga's like, eyes should, are like... Would you ever put on some colored contacts? Just... No, I think that's okay, kind of just... cringe. Okay, we did that wait, for a Mike, video. I knew you were going to say, that's too cringe. You can't do it. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, put it on. Just to see what it looks like. Jokes. Like I said, I wanted to put on a different nose to see what kind of nose, like if I got a nose job, like what nose Maybe I would, Maybe I'll, like, I would like. try it. Are they expensive? No, I bet you can get some for like thirty. No, we bucks. got we did it for a video. Once. If you want them to look good, though, they're probably a bit more pricey. Yeah, I just feel <laughs> like just the people who wear eyes. colored contacts are like the woman behind the counter at the DMV is going to wear like bright blue. You know, what they're, I'm like, they're like <laughs> they're like lizard looking. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it's like Gen X on TikTok. Like smiley faces. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. She has hazel eyes. See. Well, God damn. Yeah, but like, they're not like pure. Like you would, I don't think you would look at her and be like, oh yeah, they look brown to brown. me. Like from here, I'd say brown. Yeah. I'm just saying, I think people who don't have brown mm. eyes, they get a little bit of a bonus. It's like being tall. <laughs> okay. Am I wrong? Well, then I'm even down. I don't know. I've just never thought of that. Blue no, or... but you have blue eyes. You get the bonus. Yeah, but I'm short, so I don't get the other Let's one. hop into our <laughs> topic of, the, of today. Does uh, anyone else? Carly brought to our attention, you know, there's a subreddit. Well, hold on. Uh, I would okay. like to preface this by saying I found this from our subreddit when mike asked for suggestions or comments someone suggested this exact subreddit that we do a podcast episode on and i looked at it and i was like that seems funny or fun and explain what the uh the subreddit is or what the idea topic is yeah so the subreddit is called does anybody else and it's basically you know when you're on tiktok and the comments are all so we've never had an original thought it's kind of all those like does anyone else like, like you and Matt thinking everyone in the world could fit in a closet. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have thought about that. <laughs> exactly. I, I mean, I saw so many like common examples, but like, yeah, just stuff like I, that. Yeah, I screenshotted a whole bunch of ones oh, okay. that I felt like I resonated with, but I wanted to share it with the group oh, to see I would love if to you hear. guys were on the same page. And I think a lot of them are now like memes. Like I've seen a lot of them that have become meme formats. So I'll we'll go into it also, okay. but I also looked at ones from like ten years ago, oh. and it's so interesting to see like what were people talking about ten years ago. Oh, fun! Um, Carly, why don't you start us off? Well, I'll do one of mine. Aaron knows this very well, but does anybody else, <laughs> as soon as they receive a package or buy something, they like have to open it? I cannot get a package and let it sit on the counter for more than five Carly, minutes. I- almost sent you a TikTok last night of some, it was a guy, he was saying, um, like, I have to know OCD. Yeah, maybe that's and what it is. And I was like, is. maybe Carly has that. Maybe it's her package it You thing. have to open the package immediately. I, ca- I, I cannot wait to open the package. let it sit for a couple days. <gasps> no, same. And You're I not curious? Like, what could uh, well, it be? Well, the thing is, I pick it up and I read who it's from and I go, well, yeah. oh, it's probably that thing. Of course. And I accept it. Even if it is, though, I'm still opening it. But <laughs> envelopes? Those ones where I know there's money or like a bill. <laughs> You're just getting I, money. I do that. Packages though, I let them sit. Do you do you look at who it's from before you open it? Yeah, also yeah, yeah. to get a little spoiler before and you cut it. A lot it? of this is like PR. I'm talking about. Obviously, I know yeah. if I'm getting like an order from Amazon or something, I'm not like I'll like let cat food sit in there if it doesn't need to be opened yet. But if it's PR. I'm opening like it. Like the poppy box, you need to open it oh, immediately. Oh, 100%. That's, I'm Even opening it before know. I read the time. Yes. But like I a lot of the yes. I want, oh, sorry. My bad. Carly will be like leaving my house yeah. and there'll be a package outside. And she's like, are you going to open it? Like what's in it? And I'm like, I, you can open it. I just want to know. <laughs> like, I don't care. Hire me to open your boxes. <laughs> Sometimes I like the marination of the anticipation like i will purpose i will purposely leave it and not look at who it's from because i like the anticipation of like ooh, who could it be from i wonder what it is am i gonna know yes i'd rather wait for like a lull in my day to be like oh get to open some gifts rather than like i don't know just immediately rush into it because it's there it has arrived it has arrived it's like a little treat maybe you need to go back to therapy i got a a package early a couple days ago and it's still sitting (gasps) do you know who it's from no, I opened one this morning though. It was from Way. It was it. so cute. I bet you were lovely on Christmas morning. You were just like, <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't like face yourself. You're just in your parents' room. Wake the fuck up! <laughs> They've been sitting there for weeks. Mommy, are you gonna open this? Daddy, are you gonna open this? No, it's actually funny. I feel like with Christmas gifts under this tree, I was never like, I need to. I think because it's so planned out, and like you know when you're gonna open those, like I have to wait. 
I like not knowing. I, here's what it is. When Adam gets packages to the house, that's when I want to know, like, what the fuck did he get? Oh, yeah. I bet you it's something good. And I want to open his stuff. Mm. And I feel like I can't do that. Is it from Post Malone? <laughs> it's illegal. <laughs> well, not illegal, but like, oh, Wait, is yeah, it, it is. yeah, is this like from some cool person that sent him like their new oh. album or... Is it just like a guitar pick or something? Well, but that's when you just open it and you're like, oops, I thought it was for me. Yeah, Can just I tell you keep something? doing that. Hey, I've do done it. that once or twice. <laughs> oh, whoops, I thought it was mine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't read the label. I mean, you guys are in relationships. You live with the people. I mean, you're married, uh-huh. but uh, you live with the people that you're with. Uh, they, When they buy something, do they let you know what they bought ahead of time? Or do you guys keep your what you're shopping for like private? And So private. Yeah. I think, oh, I, think <laughs> it, I don't know. It just depends. TJ's like, oh, I just like got a cool shirt. I can't wait for it to come or something. But do you open each other's mail? Only if I know what it is. Like TJ gets like protein powder scent. So like if I see the name on it, I'm like, oh, I'll open this. But you wouldn't but- open if you don't know? No, because like, what if it's something exciting that he wants to open? Mm. I don't want to ruin the enjoyment for somebody right. else. For someone yeah. like me, exactly. Uh, uh, I really, that. Every time I, <laughs> every time I buy something, I always say it out loud. Like, I'm like, oh, I just bought this thing. It's gonna come in the mail. And then I realize <laughs> Patricia doesn't tell me anything she buys. <laughs> You're like, so now sometimes I'm not I can't. Gonna. Tell and you go, like, how much money did you spend yeah, on this? <laughs> I'm just like, you, you, like, I don't know. I just didn't know. Do other people tell? people when they buy something. I like never do. No. Unless I'm like, ooh, I bought skims. I'm so excited. Yeah. Then I'll do, that'll be a thing. So but, that's something I like think about. Yeah, I never think about it. I also just get, I feel like Amazon stuff every day. And if Nolan gets something, I'm not like opening it. He'll open I think it. with Amazon stuff, if TJ gets it, I just open it. Yeah. Because I'm like, I need to put this fucking box in the recycling <clears throat> sure. bin. Yeah, Amazon stuff, I feel like. Yeah. I wish yeah. boxes were easier to fucking... <sighs> Amazon's open. the best one, though. You don't you even go, need a box cutter for that. You can that's do, true. I do like... I well, sometimes they... Oh, that's right. I Their tape invincible. is pretty flimsy. You can just <laughs> punch the top. That's what I do. I punch the top. <laughs> you do? Yeah, and then it pops right open. You just give it a bang. Such and an it, insane way. I, I usually give mine a spank. <laughs> <laughs> Whack! Uh, um, no, but just like dealing with boxes, it's unbelievable how much recycling we just go through. And I'm just cutting it and folding it. Going. I just wish that it was made out of like something dissolvable. I could just like run it under the water and it would disappear. I wish it was already just in a huge inflatable like package. You just like pop it and then take it out. <laughs> right. But like yeah. the whole thing is already just inflated with air. It's like a big like uh, like a balloon. Yeah, it's like a like a punching rock bag. Sock em, like, oh. like inflatable thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's a great idea. We just use air to pa- to ship things and then the packaging you just go Poof, and then it's just you could ball it up. And like then, a like, floaty or like just yeah. that's how it's designed. Pay sharks. <laughs> <laughs> we the four of us go on Shark Tank. Um, does anyone else get a momentary whiff of a scent that you can't identify, but it reminds you of your childhood? Yo, oh, yes. It's always like child makeup, like kid makeup. I would get like fake, you know, shitty little child makeup. I don't know what it is. There's something in it. It smells yeah. like plasticky or chalky. Like I don't know, but that's the one thing I can always like. Oh my god! I believe they say that the sense of smell is the strongest tied to memory yeah I so like you too. can remember you can remember a smell greater than you can remember any other sense it's your olfactory receptors old yeah. factory olfactory yeah, idiot old old factory <laughs> old factory but that's oh, yeah. the way to remember parents <laughs> first words in five minutes yeah <laughs> idiot <laughs> i'm i have like a one it's like almost like a smell but it's like a taste and it's like orange things but artificially oh. flavored orange things uh-huh. but not like sun kiss it's almost like okay when i have like an orange celsius it does have it oh it's like jello yeah like yeah, orange yeah yeah jello mm-hmm. right there i wonder what that's from I lemon don't know. flavored i can't identify what it is from a kid that i was having that does smaller taste like that but the rush mine's more like so strawberry deep. whenever i have like a strawberry flavored not a strawberry but a strawberry flavored something it's always brings me back to like mm. I remember I had this doll that came with a a bottle, like a fake baby bottle, and you push a thing and like the the part comes like up a push where you pop? suck. Kind of baby but it was bottle like pop? A, no, it was baby a, bottle no, pop. Well, kind baby of. bottle pop. Baby bottle pop. Twist it. Shake it. Those and are lick so it. good. Um, and do it again. Is that the sugar one? Aaron, you got a problem? <laughs> no, I'm just listening. I don't relate to this, so I'm not contributing. No smells, nothing from the childhood. Do you no. have she has a sense childhood of smell? trauma, remember? Yeah. You have childhood trauma around smells? No, I just I don't I don't smell oh, something and you then don't think of your childhood yeah. at all. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's too soft in Boston. Does anybody else 
I hate that I do this, but as soon as I put a mint in my mouth, I bite it. Like I eat it right oh, away. Oh, no, I don't do that. That's Ugh. psycho. It makes me insane because I don't even think about it. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm chewing it again. Oh, you, <laughs> so you do it like not on purpose. Yes, yes, Instantly? Yes. Oh, Pretty oh. much instantly. Like I'll probably put it in my mouth, sit there for maybe like 30 seconds and without uh, without me even knowing, I'm just chewing it. Even like, like a God tic tac? Oh, oh, yeah. All the time. Oh, no. Wait, chewing? I'm sorry. If we're, I'm not sucking on anything for longer than... <laughs> 30 seconds. Okay, so you're also bad. Then. Homophobe. <laughs> Wait, no. Um, yeah, a mint, I'm eating that within 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, you're chewing the mint? Yes. Yes. Oh, I suck it till it's gone. Yeah, I try to make suck it like, it as, I, yeah. I try to suck it until it just genuinely just dissipates. I try not to chew it. <laughs> the, what are the things like? The like the icebreakers that yeah, I have yeah, in my yeah. car. Yeah. Oh, those oh, are the I like best. when it feels like it's like a flake. Yes, yeah, and it's like, you can almost oh, like bend it with that. your tongue. <laughs> you gotta just like... I'll hold your jaw open <laughs> so you can't bite down like this. like this, and then you just sit there and let it dissolve on your tongue. What if you What if you like plan to do it where you'll chew the first one to get the satisfaction out of the way, and then you do a second I one? I think I'll still chew it. I'm I think a maniac. the point is like she doesn't realize that she's doing it. I know, but we should like meditate like for five minutes. Like <laughs> suck. Oh, suck, I have some in my suck. car. We'll practice Ice on breakers? the way home. They're not icebreakers, but they're so good. They're from Trader Joe's. They're like the best, oh. like minty. The ginger mints? You tried one and you were like, I hate this. Yeah. <laughs> the ginger mints? No, not ginger mints. Oh, those are I unbelievable. Just very spicy, it's like so hot. peppermint. This podcast is sponsored by one of my favorite smelling brands, Way. Styling your hair can be so time consuming, especially if you have frizzy hair or just unruly hair. Like I, I just hate spending time on it. I would rather be doing anything else. Well, if you're too busy to be frizzy, grab Way's new anti-frizz cream. It's a lightweight cream that provides immediate frizz control that lasts for up to 72 hours. I'm actually so glad that Way has this product because their stuff smells so good. I even have some of their hand soap and lotion and people will come over and be like, this is the best smelling thing I've ever smelled. Like, do they have perfume? And I've never really had like quote unquote frizzy hair but I have so many little tiny hairs that will just it's like flyaways I have I have so many flyaways maybe that's the same thing as frizzy I guess I just don't really know but I do use products that tame it maybe like once every couple days it's also super lightweight so it doesn't feel like my hair is getting greasy or I have a lot of product in my hair which I actually hate I don't like even using hairspray ever <laughs> I usually don't use that many hair products but way works and smells so good that I use it. Way also has some other product that you might be obsessed with. They have a leave-in conditioner, a detox shampoo. They have fragrances, which is probably the smartest thing they've ever done because <laughs> their stuff smells so good. Of course, they should make fragrances. They have hair oil and a hair gloss, which I also will use maybe like once every couple weeks in the shower. Frizz free up your schedule with Way. Go to T H E O U A I dot com and enter promo code GOOD for 15% off any product. That's T H E O U A I dot com, promo code GOOD. Like, the, oh, their peppermints are too spicy. The yeah, ginger yeah. mints are really good, though. You ever I, like, had the Trader Joe's ginger mints? No. I had to, like, no. actually spit it out because it was so hot. Yeah. Hot. I couldn't fizz it. Well, yeah, it just, like, gives off so much of the flavor. I just don't like walking around with fucking mints in my pocket. Like, ding, 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 ding. It's just, like, it's a jingling and a jangling. It sounds just like I'm... I love a mint, though. It's like a little snack. It's not quite gum. It's yeah, snack. I do. Oh, per, like, a car mint. A car mint is the best. Sure, yeah, a car mint. Car mints I, are... Slay. I'm always popping Mike in the always has a But I'm not walking around in, like in a tin can <laughs> like I'm part of like a I do wish they band. made like a three pack of mints that you could bring to like a party. Because you you don't want yeah, you don't want to be the guy with a big circle of ice pack in your pocket and then you're just walking around like but when you go to a party, I want to have a couple mints throughout the night. And I they just don't make dingle, like a dingle. so what I'll sometimes do is like take a napkin and wrap like three in there. Like, <laughs> like a, Molly. Why don't you yeah. just get a purse? <laughs> get a purse? Yeah. yeah. But then they're loose. I don't like a loose mint. Like if someone's like, no, oh, you, you want a mint? And then they pull it out of there. If you had a purse, you could just bring the whole container. Yeah. And it would oh, be I get what you're saying. Yeah. This is, I like can't relate to you. <laughs> Not having a purse? Yeah, no. But like a loose mint in someone's pocket, it's just like, ugh. Well, yeah, that's gross. Uh, I could do it. Yeah, no. it's a tic tac for sure. Or like if a someone, tic -tac. Even a tic -tac, why don't you like just get like pieces of, of gum that are already wrapped? Because gum, I don't trust anymore. I like can't why? do. I can't do gum anymore. Why do you not trust gum? <laughs> because <laughs> at, at least twice in my life, I have taken out gum and like wrapped it up and then put it in my pocket to throw away later, or I just left a pack of gum in my pants pocket so and then threw it yourself. in the dryer. And then I like ruined a dryer with gum. Mm. You don't e trust yourself with yeah. gum, Mike. No, I don't trust the gum. No. <laughs>
You don't You're trust shifting yourself. blame. It's Should a bad I victim blaming? It's a bad victim combo. blaming the guy. <laughs> but mint, I know I'm never going to wash a mint because you'll hear it when you're doing your laundry. Or <laughs> mint. And, and if I have I, mint. I'm not going to like But what spit. if there's only one? Mint. A singular mint in your pocket. You I don't think a mint that. is going to ruin my dryer or ruin <laughs> the amount of clothes I've ruined in that one wash. It was like my favorite shirt, my favorite Ugh. pair of pants. It ruined, it ruins an entire cycle. This is like years ago and I'm still scarred. I refuse to chew gum. How wow. about you check your pockets before you th put them in the... I, I'm, at this point, I'm already like not in pocket checking mode. So mm. sorry, gum industry. Okay. Although if we do want to get any gum sponsors. <laughs> I love gum. <laughs> um, let me read one that I liked from the other day. Is it something you do? Yes. Mm. Well, this was... Uh, does anyone else get sad when a random car that they've been driving with for miles goes a different direction and you have to part ways? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You know, you ever think about that? All the dude, all the time. Oh, there's Sometimes that white Jeep. I get yeah. really fixated, like, uh, on the object permanence of things. Yes. And knowing that that thing is going to go away, and then I will occasionally think about that thing like years later. I just like when like, I'm on the highway, I'm like, ooh, I wonder if I'm going to stay with this car. And then I mark a car and then I go, all right, I'm going to fucking speed for a little bit. I'm going to go 90 and then I'll be going 90 <laughs> and then we and then we hit traffic. And I, like that car was in the right lane. I'm like, oh, we, un we ended up in the same place. So maybe it's not worth speeding. Uh -huh. And then I don't speed. And then I'm like, I wonder where that white car is. And then I'm driving the speed <laughs> limit. And then like 20 minutes later, oh, the white Jeep pulls up next to me. And it feels good. And I like don't even want to know what they look like inside. But it's just that idea of like. like and now I'm in San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and, but then <laughs> they pull off attention. on their exit. I'm like, wow, they're going to live their life. I'll never see them again. No? Yes. Nothing? I yes. feel like the only time I think that is when a car is like speeding past me. And I'm like, where are they going? Like, I would like to follow them. I need to know what is so important. Oh, yeah. interesting. And how do I get there? But other times, if there's a car around me for a long drive, I'm like, get away from me. <laughs> like, you're stalking me. <laughs> yeah. I will yeah. say like the drive from LA to Vegas or vice versa, it's like one highway basically. So you kind of see the same Yeah, you, may, you have like a buddy time. with you on the road. Yeah. And if you're driving with a Tesla, you pretty much stop at the same stop. So oh, that's that's, like a funny yes like, i've done that here too we where are. i'm like yep. oh damn i'm gonna blow by this like you know red one and then i see him at the same supercharger <laughs> yeah. and i'm like all right well that wasn't worth it do you it. ever say hi no, no. Oh. do you ever get like uh, uh i feel sometimes i feel like that way about strangers or say you're you know you're flying to a city and you notice some people on your flight oh. then you you're in that city and like two days later you see the person <laughs> yes, who was on happened. your fucking flight and you I, inside, I would have been like, oh, my gosh, you were on my flight. But okay. you know that it's, that's crazy to do. <laughs> yes. You're going to look yes. like a total creep. But I don't know. Sometimes I like, I fixate on like, isn't that awesome? Yeah. No, I do. I do wish Damn, I could that'd like. that would be crazy. I would never recognize the person, though. I'd be like, unless you're, <laughs> yeah. unless you're in your flight <laughs> costume. Probably like blinders. <laughs> Willie Nelson? <laughs> <laughs> unless you're wearing what you wore on the flight and exact hair and same bag, then yeah. But otherwise, I, I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know about that either. Yeah, actually. I don't know that you have facial recognition to that degree. Uh, no. no. Um, does anyone else try to catch actors breathing during scenes where they're supposed to be dead <laughs> oh, on yes, TV shows and yes. movies. Oh, I'm always looking dead. at that. I'm always, if, there, if there's like a dead character, I'm like, is that the actor or did they get a prosthetic to make it look like them? Are they going to wake up? What Can do they I see normally them? do nowadays? I think they're holding their breath. Okay. Wow. But I try to catch them breathing or like, <laughs> like moving a little bit. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, like the come on, you took me out. I know you're not dead. I'd rather see like a prosthetic for sure not moving. Hmm. I just also think they like cut and edit and get the best take to where you can't see that they're breathing but i said you never try to check and be like <laughs> no oh, and I'm if all, i do I'm check looking. the world has look. to tell like to point out the blooper to me like did you know in this movie that this guy like pretended I to be dead i feel like it's been no like it's not something you can discover all the time of people breathing i feel like it happens dead. a lot and i really look for it Okay. And it like takes me out of the movie when there's a dead character because I'm like, I know I know he's not dead. That's George Clooney. So, he did an interview for this after the movie out came the out. Movie? It does, yeah. What anyway. movie does George I, Clooney die in? And I'm just making up a scenario. Spoiler. I always look at like if there's a movie and like Aaron and I were having a conversation when the camera is on Aaron, but you can see the back of my head and you can see their the, mouths, their mouths. Sometimes it's like so off. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that yeah. happens Agreed. a lot. Yeah. Where you know they're like doing it in post and they're like, all right, we that line didn't work. Let's yes. just point the camera. Or it's like they're not, you can tell they're not even saying anything, but right. they're, right. yeah. 
they're talking. That does take me out of it too. That usually happens more in TV shows, I feel like. Yeah. Because movies, they have enough time to get it right, but TV shows, it's like. I feel yeah. like it happened so much. I think it happened in the new True Detective, but it was like camera on Jodie Foster and her mouth said something completely different. They obviously dubbed over. Yeah. But I rewound it and I was like, TJ, look, like they literally just made her say something completely different. Like, what? It's because the uh, way she interpreted her line, like she probably skipped a word that is actually essential to like the plot yeah. and would toss people off. Like I noticed in the movie Hereditary, which is a flawless movie that there is a part where Anne Dowd is like telling Tony Collette, like you must do this spell when they are home or something. There's something where like, it's about the spell and that you can tell they dub over her line or <gasps> she does it oh, because, weird. but then I was like, why would they do that? That's so obvious. And I go, Fuck, that's the only fucking shot they probably had of her saying that. Yeah. And it, in Damn. this but spell, would like, it make sense that they must be home? But why wouldn't order? they just record her doing it correctly? They probably didn't notice at the time. Yeah, they it's didn't notice It's probably in post, at the time. and then it's like, we don't have the space Idiots. anymore. She's yeah, filming truly. a different Dumbass. movie now. Ari Aster, you have bad literally filmmaker. one job. <laughs> yeah, truly. Ari Aster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, is it, oh. There is deep fake that I just saw where they're like, I built able to replace lines with the mouth moving yeah. correctly. Oh, that, yeah, that makes so sense. So that probably will, like, be a thing oh. of the past. Yeah. Well, thank God. I, did oh my you God, ever, Carly, like, I loved uh, doing that with my pants when I was little. I know, I always do it. Did, okay. Did you ever have, like, Nickelodeon <laughs> magazine or, like, any of those old teen bop magazines uh, and they would show, like, bloopers in movies? Oh! Uh, where oh. It would be, like, a side-by-side, -side, like, picture thing where, like, did you know in this, like in the movie Legally Blonde, where she goes on the date with her first boyfriend and he breaks up with her, his hairstyle changes like oh. two different times. No, but I look at those movie. on IMDb sometimes. Oh, okay. oh, oh, I do love the IMDb bloopers. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't really have that. That's so Yeah, cool. they have like a little mistakes section in whatever movie you're Just looking at or TV show. <laughs> they but it's do, really, it's yeah. always interesting because nice. then you're like, oh my God, I didn't even notice that. Or... And there's good trivia. I used to spend a lot of time on IMDb in high school. <laughs> it's not surprising. Yeah. yeah. IMDb has lost it though. I, I mean, they used to have also it. a really good like forum underneath each movie there was like a, a full-blown like reddit forum for each movie huh. and it was great discussions this is like back in 2005 but now they don't have any discussions anymore so but you would get like a movie's gonna come out and then you would they would like post who's gonna be in the cast and you'd be like oh i wonder if they're gonna cast this person or if this is gonna be right. this character and then you can talk about the bloopers i thought it was a great website. i was obsessed with looking up how old actors were when i was a kid to be like oh how old are the harry potter kids wow they're a couple years older than me oh, or like i was very like comparative to like to figure out who was older and who was younger than uh, me. i do that uh, like now that i'm older because i'm always curious i'm like are they 25 or 35 like yeah. it's really hard to tell sometimes or if they're playing like a high school character i'm like how old are they yeah. really like i know you're 30 yeah it's very funny i saw one i haven't screenshot it but I definitely do this. Does anyone else, when they spell out Wednesday, still say Wednesday? Yo, oh, yeah. Yes. That's how you have to spell it. Is, that, is that like a, do you do that? No. You spell, oh. how do you spell Wednesday? W-E-D-N-E-S-D-A-Y. And you just think about it in your head as Wednesday? <laughs> that's crazy. I still no, in my I gotta head go like Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday <laughs> yeah. Every time. time I spell it. Yeah. And February. Yeah. And oh, rest, I guess, yeah. rest how rant is huh? how to spell Restaurant? Oh, restaurant. <laughs> I don't even know. That makes it more Rest confusing. Well, restaurant, I, I misspell all the time. I, but oh. I think it's rest how rant. Yeah. Like, it's rest a U is not in the last two no, letters? it's rest a U rant. Yeah. Oh, I definitely would not spell it that way. Oh. And what's so annoying is that the auto check, even if you spell yeah. it rest how, they're like, we don't know what uh, this I is. Know. It's so That's Never why I memorize it. it so I'm like, like, are you sick of it? fucking kidding me? <laughs> I know. I was so How sick of it. How do you guys not know? It looks just like restaurant. <laughs> I know. I'm like, you know what it is. Figure it out. Obviously, I'm trying to spell restaurant. I still know how to spell beautiful from... B-E-A. Yes. What uh, is it? The Jim Carrey movie where he plays God. Bruce Almighty. Oh. Yeah. B-E-A-utiful. Oh, that was one I saw. Oh, my God. That is the only way I know how to spell beautiful. <laughs> no. I promise. I never knew how to spell it before. I'd write like beautiful, be oh be be beautiful. But every time I write beautiful, it's B E A, beautiful. Yo, wow. brethren. Or what up, brethren? Blessings upon your alley. <laughs> um, okay. This one is from 11 years ago. So oh. now we're thinking about. Is this like timely? Yeah. It's okay. like think about 2014, okay. 2010, 20, whatever. Okay. Does anyone else still think of 1990 as 10 years ago and 1980 as 20 years ago and 1970 as 30 years ago? Because when I was growing up, that was like my metric was the 70s was 30 years yes, ago. Yes. The 80s was 20 years ago. The 90s was 10 years ago. 
But I don't know if I think about that anymore. Like, I don't think I that. didn't think about it then. <laughs> no. and you never felt like, oh, the 90s were like 10 years ago, even in 2014? All the time. No. Huh. All the time, but like I've now surrendered to it and I do do the math like much quicker. I don't fixate on it as much. Like the fact that 2014 was 10 years ago makes sense. And people will be like, oh, 1998. In 2008, 1998 was 10 years ago. <laughs> but we were around in, in 2008. I know, yeah. Like and crazy. I would think that. I'd be like, oh, yeah, 90, the 90s were like 10 years ago. But now it's been 10 years since then. Like it's crazy how Mean Girls was like, what, 2005? Four. Yeah. And now it's almost 20, it's years. Almost 20 years old. So Ooh. that's like, so, so that's like kids now that's like, oh, that's like a movie from like the 80s for us right. when Mean Girls was out. Yeah. That That's to crazy. me is like trippy to think yeah. about. Yeah. However, I feel like cinema has gotten so much better where it doesn't look as old. And the internet like, kind of flattens all of that too, like the culture, because it's all everyone grows up with everything now. Oh yeah, yeah, we're all in there. Does anyone else nope out when they see a wall of text, despite how interested you might be? Oh Wait, what? Oh yeah, a like, wall of text. I'm not text. reading that. Like if you see like a post on Reddit that's like, here's oh. the most interesting thing I learned about science, and it's just literally like, why I don't go on Reddit. <laughs> Definitely not about science. Even if someone just even texts <laughs> no, like you, a text? like, I go separate this up and get your points organized here. <laughs> like someone who just if you're gonna send a entire thick wall of text, but fuck it off. Turns Let's into get a some note. grammar going at least. A couple line breaks, some commas, parenthetical some citation. Yes, I always have to do little line breaks just to make sure if someone rereads this, they understand the thought process. <laughs> Can I tell you what this. I do now? If I get a long block of text, or if like, I get an email or like a brief, you put it in AI chat and say, GPT give me the... and say, give me, give me this in five sentences, oh. and it does it every time. Or if there's like a really long article that I want to read, and it's just like really long, and I don't want to know if I want to read the full thing, I'll say summarize this. I'll just copy all of the text summarize this in like one paragraph and they'll be like okay i do want to read this full article and then i'll read the full article or it's like okay i already knew that chat GPT, i i use chat GPT more than google these days i do it all the time it's unbelievable google down oh. <laughs> i'm serious i actually have one about googling What's right here. Does anyone else get frustrated when they watch someone Google something less efficiently than you would oh yes it, oh, it really my. gets under my gears oh yeah Gets I'm under like, just my gears. I don't know. Gets under my skin, grinds, grinds my gears. gears. Sorry, I mixed it up. But like, <laughs> does anyone else hate when no, Carly's it's bad? Better? Where they go like they, they'll they're they're googling things like it's Ask G. Yes, yeah, like, <laughs> like when is the Taylor Swift concert in Tokyo in March? It's like just, just type in Taylor Swift Tokyo March. Yes, that's date, it. Tour date. <laughs> or like, or like, do you know what the tour date is for Taylor Swift? They're like, right yes. there as a question. <laughs> and it frustrates me because it makes me like kind of concerned. Like, do you, either you don't spend that much time on the internet, which I guess <laughs> good for you, or just you don't like you've never grew up. Like, I, how much does a flight cost from Hawaii to Miami? What? Who's Googling that? I like my mom would Google <laughs> that. Like, yeah, but people our age will Google like that, though. Also, young people these days are very uh internet illiterate like we grew up before internet learn how to use it typing in things don't give your social security number to like random people kids what? now who grow up what what <laughs> <laughs> i just saw like a tiktok of a mom like asking her daughter like what did you do and she like bought lululemon pants but had to like go on a <laughs> chat and give her social security number her birthday and her mother's oh maiden God, name yeah. and it's like a 14 year old maybe just didn't <laughs> learn that the internet is not a place where you just give away in your information. And they're like, why'd you give your social security number? And they said, because they asked. Wow. And I'm it's so just like she knew that at such a young age. No, her social security number? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I guess that is true. Like, how do you know your social security yeah. number, but not smart enough to give it in? But this idea that like they just grew, the internet right now is growing up with just apps, Instagram, Facebook, Google, like that's the internet. We were like websites and yeah. eBay and Ask Jeeves. And it's just like you have to know that there's scammers out there and people trying to i don't know i don't know where i'm going or even just something simple like best iphone case you can get it's like i don't know for me i'd type in best iphone case most protective iphone case reddit and oh, like read yeah. people's yes. like real experiences always with, add reddit to the thing yeah. yeah if it's not something that like i mean even like i got flowers for valentine's day and i was like i think these are like cats are allergic to this and so i typed in like whatever flowers they were cats toxic that I feel like I could also type into Reddit because people will be like, definitely it is. But yeah. I don't know if you can like trust that as much. But that's a good point. WebMD, ChatGPT. But Web a lot MD. of a lot of Google mm. results right now are just like 
junk, SEO. sponsored links, and then yeah. you trust. Then you got to trust someone when they're googling it that they don't click on those top three links that are sponsored. It's but like you, even yo, the organic do you, not, do you not notice that those are not like the meat of what you're trying to find? And the organic links now too are all like here's the top ten flowers, and then each of those is just a affiliate link. And brands are like people are just making websites just to rank on Google. I yep. think Google's cooked. Ask Jeeves is where it's at these days. It's so rinsed. <laughs> it's rinsed. rinsed. Uh, does anyone, Great word, Aaron. Thanks. Does anyone else get super sleepy on the couch at night and then go to brush your teeth, floss, change, and get into bed only find out that you're not sleepy anymore? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll be like sleepy during the day. And then at night I'll be like, why am I not tired now? That's, oh, that's like my big thing. I'll be on the couch and I'm like, I am so tired. But <laughs> damn, I got to go like get ready for bed. And I get in bed. I'm like, what, what the hell was that? <laughs> what was that what's, your, what's your bed routine that's waking you up? Um, I, well, I think it's one like just taking a shower, doing like a little. You take a shower before you go to bed? Yeah. Oh, well, that's going to wake you right up. Of course. It, yeah, that's a crazy. But I like going to bed clean. Well, Do yeah. a little you... earlier before you get on the couch. Mm, yeah, maybe. You I shower should. every night before bed? Uh, most of the time because also if I'm getting up and like if Patricia's still in bed, I don't want to have to like go turn on the shower and stuff. Or a shower at the gym. It depends on the day actually. Mm. Hmm. But well, yeah. If you're gonna, if you're like sleepy and you're like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna go to bed now, and then you go <laughs> and you hop in a shower, <laughs> so of course it's gonna wake you up. Yeah. Oh, but then I also think it's and like you brush your teeth it's in an electric it's toothbrush. It's <laughs> yeah. like, I just like, want to feel clean. Yeah. yeah. And then it's like, I wonder why I'm not tired anymore. You just had a full psychological torture I imposed on yourself. Amusement park. Yeah. Good grief. Uh, Flossing your teeth with bleeding gums and just <laughs> bleeding. I want to go to bed just with it all clean. Sometimes you just gotta skip it all and just go to skip bed. Skip it all. <laughs> yeah, just go to bed and you skip brushing your teeth. Don't floss. Um, no shower. I, I like this one. Does anyone think that it's not tomorrow until you go to sleep, no matter how late you stay up? Yes. I mean, that's like physically correct no it no like you know the clock strikes midnight but you're like still if we're out of our... 1 a.m and we had plans to the next day i wouldn't be like i'll see you later i'd be like i'll see you tomorrow yeah that's like happy yeah. new year uh, yeah. i'll see you next year <laughs> yeah but some people will literally be like it's later today like on, at <laughs> oh, 1 a.m yeah. oh, and i'm like no. oh, fuck all right, off. All right. <laughs> like, i'll see you later today what if it, what if you're going Time to bed you stayed out all night and it's like 5 a.m do you say later today? Okay, if it's if it's light out, then it's the next day. <laughs> okay, yeah. If the birds are chirping outside, it's, it's today. You have, yeah, <laughs> it's today. It's no longer tomorrow. It's today. That's a good yeah. If the sun has on a full like down and back to rise, yeah. If the yeah. sun is up, then it's the next day. Yeah. That's when the next day starts. Yeah, that's the, sun the is worst up. when it's like five a.m. and you're like, you start hearing the birds chirp. <laughs> like, like, why am I up? up? And then you got to get a whole full night's rest before the next day starts. The before worst your is, plans. The worst one is when you're not even like you hadn't gone out. It's just like a regular regular night and you just cannot sleep oh. that's oh. happened to me oh, where you see the blinds like you look I'm outside like, are you colors fucking getting kidding this is before bit. i discovered weed and benzos but yeah. that is a nightmare when you're just like oh i'm fucked <laughs> yeah <laughs> you just the light starts to creep in and you're like well now it's definitely not night anymore i hate that too particularly when like you do get like a good night's sleep but you just wake up at like 5 a.m to pee and then you oh. can't go back to sleep, and then right, and then you're, you're like so on your phone to try to like go back to bed, but then the sun starts coming out. Yeah, I count my blessings, and I feel so sorry though for people who have to like go, like <laughs> truly go into an office and go to work. Like, and you yeah. got a bad night's sleep, oh, and knowing yeah. that you're like still, you do not even get the time, yeah, to get a nap in or anything like no. that. Right, I right. feel like oh. Like that just su it sucks. I know the taunting of like your sleep going, but I have to get up at seven a.m. because then I gotta get, get on the thing and go to the work. And, like fuck. That's like me when we used to film this podcast early, <laughs> early in the morning. Oh. I, I'm serious. I would like not be able to sleep because I'm like shit. It's thirty minutes me, earlier me today. This morning. I like, need to go to sleep. I need to go to sleep, and oh then I'm just like God. having anxiety about not sleeping. Yeah, I would have to when I did like clinical stuff or respiratory therapy. I have to, I have to get up at like four. And there were times where, like, I wasn't, like, taking anything to go to sleep. So I'd go to bed at, like, 1 because I could not fall asleep oh, and no. just be there on three hours and I'd just not be a human whatsoever. Just felt terrible. Um, I feel like you guys are all pretty good packers. But. I'm not. When packing, do you take at least 2x, two times the amount of underwear that you would ever need yeah. for a trip just oh, in case? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I throw my whole underwear drawer in yeah, there. Just really? <laughs> I don't do two times. Like if you're going for three. if you're going for a week. Well, most most girls have like a checked bag of underwear. What? Yeah, that's yeah. why we like have another bag usually. That's no, why you, I fly Delta. If I go for a, a free check underwear. Yes. 
Yeah, like well, and bras and socks, yeah. but it's usually like mostly underwear because you don't know what's gonna happen. Because like we have weird shit going on down there. Yeah. If I'm pack, if I'm packing for a week, so I'll, <laughs> I would bring twelve <laughs> pairs of underwear for a week. Wow. Yeah. Because if that's, I want to work, that takes up so much space as a guy, though. Like I always feel bad. Like oh, when TJ packs underwear, I'm like, that sucks. Yeah, mine's it, like, I, hmm. yeah. I usually do overpack, and then the time that I don't overpack, like this past weekend, we went you to Palm Springs. No, you don't shit yourself, Aaron. <laughs> we went to Palm Springs for Ella's birthday, and I was like, it's literally one night I'm staying there, okay? And I'm gonna go back Sunday night. But I was like, okay, so I'll just pack two things of underwear. But the day we got there, I like went in the pool and then I was wearing my underwear in the pool and then I went to like change for dinner and then we went in the pool the next day and then we needed to change and I was like, I'm fucking out of underwear. Yeah. And it sucks. Yeah. Oh, no. That's the time packing. that you don't. Yeah. It's like the one time I didn't overpack. So now yeah. I'm just like, I didn't what? realize I just boys realized wear I had, underwear. Like, a, I had wet underwear and like a wet swimsuit sitting in my duffel bag <laughs> from Ella's this past weekend. Oh, no. I still haven't unpacked from that yet. Yeah. Oh, but I got like a damp suit. In there. Yeah. That's going to be stinky. <laughs> you got to throw it in the wash immediately. Yeah. Do all, so all men wear underwear swimming? Sometimes. No, not all, but I have I happen to have a particularly skimpy swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Is a speedo? So, <laughs> well, I, I, so it, I cut okay, male swimsuits have like the netting, the little mesh. Yeah, and I fucking hate that. It it I hate it. Cuz if you sit on like even if the swimsuit's been drying and you're kind of damp and you're sitting bare bottom on that netting on a chair, it like it can drive you kind of nuts. It's also just very uncomfortable. Like the way that mm. that netting like grabs you. It also get, it also, I wear underwear. It depends on like the intimacy of the pool setting of how right. many people I'm around. Like for us, we're all sitting around that hot tub. We're all standing. We're all kind of like crotch in each a other's lot of faces. Eye level when someone's sitting on the top and they're in the hot tub, there's a lot of. <laughs> That's too much. But if like everyone's like in a lake chilling, like our waists are down in an area. All not wear underwear. But it I also just cut the netting out of all my swimsuits. Oh, no, 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 no. Because, no. and then if you cut the netting out, then you're and just, you're you could be full you're blown. You're leoning. Why do you cut the netting? Because it's so uncomfortable. Uh, but so, if, you get a, if you get a nice swimsuit that has netting in it, it's not that bad. There are some swimsuits that have like, it's almost like Under Armour where it's like oh, boxer nice. briefs dialed in. Those are the best. But this pair of underwear that I happened to pack was one I cut the netting out of. And so, like, my boxers were longer than my swimsuit. So if I didn't wear the boxers, we'd You should just on wear a, a banana hammock. A banana... <sighs> Princess Honestly, banana hammock. I would love a Speedo. <laughs> you yeah. would. No one, I, the thing is, I've never Even had occasion. Even when you occasion. go to, like, Tel Aviv, I feel like everyone's probably wearing them. Yeah, but I, I just like the, the short shorts. Cute. But when I'm on the beach, I don't care as much because like a beach, I'm not really like no one's getting a real view of that. Yeah, you're like dick out. Who cares? Yeah, and I'm just kind of like walking around and going. When I'm on an the old ocean. man. I'm, I'll be rocking a speedo for sure. Just like no. Uh, yeah, I, can, I can see that. Not, not at, like old. a public pool, but you know, <laughs> privacy. Do it of my now. Own home. <laughs> Wait, do it now, not later. I don't want to see like your wrinkly body. I don't. Know, I think there's just something liberating about just being like, go to hell. <laughs> Go to heaven. I don't give a fuck what you think. I am only on earth for a couple more decades. Fuck off. A couple more decades. Um, someone said, does anyone else laugh when they're getting falsely accused or getting yelled at or being told something negative? I guess. Falsely accused. I feel like I smile anytime it's something's bad. Like when you're in, I don't when mean you're to. in trouble? Not really trouble, but like if oh, I have to yeah. tell someone something, it's like I can't help but smile. And I know it's like very common and I don't know why I do it. Yeah. It's like an un uncomfortable or if someone's like accusing me of something like I did not do. I don't I feel like I overcompensate because I don't want them to think I did something that I'm like, no, I don't know. It makes it almost more obvious. It looks like I'm lying. I don't really yeah, know. I'm, it's really I'm with weird. you on that. I find myself smiling in dramatic moments because I'm like, I can't believe we're here. I can't believe yeah. this is happening. This is the this is the peak <laughs> moment of the sitcom right now. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Didn't see this this going this way today. Mm -hmm. But I'm still angry. But Can I'm you give just me like, an example of what someone put you in that situation? Um, like where you're giggling? I think if it just would be any type of like argument or tiff or anything throughout my day. Like if someone was really coming at me for something, I'd be like, okay, really? You want to get into this? But I'm like smiling and laughing through it, if that makes it's sense. It's almost like too, if you're at the airport and your flight gets delayed like a billion times, it's just like, okay, what else? Yeah. Like, Oh, okay. That I get. I don't know that if someone's yelling at me, though, like, you fucking deleted the files, you fucking idiot. I'll be like, <laughs> I'd be no, like yeah, I'm no, so I'd be sorry. Cool, yeah. I don't know. Like, oh, yeah. I don't think if it's like 
too much of like your fault, your fault kind of thing. Like just if you more fucking a, ran over a child with your car, you're just like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I know. Sorry. Um, let me see. I think I had one more, one more classic. Ooh, we love a classic. Oh. I have more screenshots too. I know we've talked about toothbrushes before. I don't know if we've talked about this specific topic. What is the operation that you do with water? Are oh, we doing we have... <sighs> water on the toothbrush, then toothpaste, and then water on top of the toothpaste? What Raw is... dog it, the whole thing. Oh, dry oh, toothpaste no. on a dry toothbrush? Yeah, because, well, it feels my like buddy the Matt Doan told me that you're not supposed to add the water to it and that, like, your mouth, like, naturally will provide, like, salivation. And just do it, and you don't feel like you do need it at all. And I feel like I do. You know what it uh, is, though? I used to be the same way, and then I looked into it, and toothpaste companies say just to trust the solvents oh, okay. in the mouth. Yeah, I usually do it before and after. But I think me too. Yeah, but one time, I think I like forgot for some reason to put water on it or something. And I fully brushed my teeth. I have like a spin brush and everything. And when I was done, I was like, I feel like I was at the dentist because you know how theirs is like really dry. Like chalky. Chalk yes, it was like chalky and it felt good actually. So I've been kind of doing that more because I'm just like, it feels cleaner to me yeah. without getting it wet. Yeah, that, that's... Wet it up, baby. I wonder what the ADA says. What does the American Dental Association <laughs> say about they this? They say to not add the water and to trust the toothpaste I'll ask and Dr. not Poop to rinse when it. I go. I'm going to ask Chad you going GPT. Soon? Yeah, I got my card in the mail. I need to go soon. Just what to get does the thing. American Dental Association recommend with regards to brushing your teeth? Should you wet the toothbrush before you put the toothpaste or on? Or not. Read it. The American Dental Association, ADA, oh. does not specify Carrie. whether you should wet the toothbrush before. Not taking a stand. <laughs> I said I plead the fifth. <laughs> is using a fluoride toothpaste and brushing twice a day for two minutes each time. Wetting the toothbrush before or after applying toothpaste is more a matter of personal preference and doesn't affect the effectiveness of okay. brushing. As long as you brush properly and for the recommended duration. <laughs> That well, was our producer, everyone. That was Rashida Jones. <laughs> that, well, that was that was saying they don't take a stance on whether you should wet before or after you put the toothpaste on. I would clarify that and ask if you should wet it at all. Well, probably should. If you can ask her. Debating. Should we ask? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's follow up. <laughs> More specifically, the question <laughs> is: Should you wet the toothbrush at all, or keep it dry? The American Dental Association, ADA, doesn't provide specific guidance on whether to wet the toothbrush before applying toothpaste. The key focus is on the technique of brushing, using fluoride toothpaste, and the <laughs> Someone just driving right now listening to this is like... I think it's interesting. I would I don't, be curious. Yeah, if, yeah, I don't ever think of that. It's so funny uh, how you I, always I think I do of sometimes. That. Like Some, if there's a big lull or something, I'm sure. like, maybe take that out later. Some people then. find that wetting the bristles to soften helps make the toothbrush more comfortable, but it's not a requirement for effective brushing. So the ADA, we're not taking a stand, cowards. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I like it wet. Yeah, you have to wet the toothbrush. Yeah. It's, it's so much I will more say, pleasant. Don't knock it till you try it. Okay. It does feel like you went to the dentist. It's Hot a nice water feeling. or cold water? Whichever. Cold. It has to be freezing cold. Hot water? I, sometimes you'll be on vacation somewhere and it's like a hot environment and the water is like hot just because you're on the beach or something and it's a hot day. And I, I will wait till that cold water hits before oh, I start brushing my teeth. No. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I know, I don't I either. I do not give a fuck. Sometimes it's, it's already just, hot because Nolan had it, already used it. Oh, so I'm just like, what? No, I love the cold. Oh, the cold is... Uh, if, I, if I like feel the water, I like give it a little tap to make sure it's cold before I put it on my <laughs> toothbrush. A hot toothbrush is just like, uh-uh. Oh. Yeah, no thank you. All right, I have another one from Reddit. Okay. Does anyone else put a towel over their lap when they poop because they don't like cold air on their legs? What? I've never thought about it. But I don't know if men were different. <laughs> they, I hope they're washing the towel after every use. <laughs> I know. This is Trapping horrific. all the stank in. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's gross. I find that disgusting. That's horrific. Yeah. I hope not. What were people saying? <laughs> um, someone said, no, I sure don't. As a normally functioning adult, I just poop when needed and don't make it into something more. Yeah, that's insane. Uh, someone said, what the fuck? Someone, they go, are you also afraid of wearing shorts? And someone goes, no, I love shorts. Maybe that's my problem. My lower ca legs, calves are used to the cool breeze, but my upper thighs, not so much. <laughs> someone goes, that's crazy. I always put a sweater and have the sink running when I go. <laughs> put on a sweater and have the sink running. There are people that run the water when you 
poop because they think it helps the yeah. sound. Mm-hmm. Oh, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I've we, definitely done that before. I know what you're doing in there. Yeah. Yeah, but it helps. Who re- who you're making it more obvious. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. But I mean, it helps ease put, the blow. But, but at least like, like, you put on like rain sounds or something. So you're yeah. not wasting so much water. It reduces like also the sound of like, you know, just the blast hitting whatever is going on with your bowels, I think, is <laughs> yeah. your business and your own, your own, you own the privacy of what's ever <laughs> going on in there. Sometimes I've gone, well, if I'm in a public bathroom and I really got to go, but I just don't want like this sound like going down all the re- like I'll flush and then kind of go in the it's moment like really while fast. it's flushing. Oh my God. Or I've done like brown noise and I'm just like, Shh, or I'll just blast <laughs> TikTok. Oh I will pull up poop sounds. What? And just make it crazy. So it's just, it's, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm Poop kidding. Sound. You uh, should do that. Does anyone else look in the mirror uh, thinking, I'm pretty good looking, but really <laughs> cringe when they see pictures of themselves? Um, no. Well, there's been times where I'll like go, do my makeup and like go out or something. I'm like, I look so good in it. I look so good tonight. And then I'll yeah. see a photo and be like, I am a troll. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> Like no. I'm so ugly. I was really? in a gap. Oh yeah. I was in the gap dressing room the other day, and I was fucking mortified because of the gap dressing room. They have a mirror. Usually, you know, there's a front mirror, maybe a back mirror. This one, they got this side mirror where you see the angle. Oh. Like you see your the side, your profile. side, your, your side profile. Side profile. The Target ones used to be like that. I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. That's what I look like. I was devastated. Yeah. I feel like they have like the worst mirrors in fitting rooms. Yeah, because it's too you're too close to it. Yeah, and you want to see like the fit and, and the it's, like, lighting is bad. The worst the one is, is it Zara, where it's only in the hallway. Zara. There's some. It's either like Zara or. Oh, and you gotta walk out. Yes. and be like, mom. <laughs> there's no mom, mirrors. Come here, look at the pants. And then it's you like walk free people. The I don't know. Yeah, there's no mirrors in the dressing rooms. There's one big one in like the hall of oh the dressing room. So you have to go out to. It's like his fucking stage. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like runway. when you get a suit. When you get a suit yeah, tailored, it's like the walk. three mirrors on the stage and it's like on a platform <laughs> and you're like reveal like, hello. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. I do think the ones, if you're in like a department store where there's the one mirror that's like on the column, it's like a giant column in the oh, middle yes. of the store. Those always look great. I like those. Because you're just surrounded by all the other clothes and you're like, nah, I picked the best coat. This looks Tell fucking sick. Tell me I'm sick. pretty. Yeah. What's the time? best mirrors are mirrors at gyms. Though, like the ones that are on, like the wall. when you're in a gym, you look great. Everyone looks great in those. Your body looks good. Your muscles look it's good. On purpose. Huh. It's and like then you Disneyland. go to like a smaller mirror in your bathroom. You're like, I look like shit. <laughs> um, does anyone else get lost in nostalgia while cleaning out old storage and then spend the whole time looking at old photos, old toys instead of actually cleaning? Oh, when I when I was like younger and I would like rearrange my room and stuff. Like that yeah. was definitely yeah. true. And then it would take the whole fucking day. Yeah. Like you find your old high school yearbook, and I'm like, yeah. well, I'm gonna look at this for four hours. Yeah. You brought you st- you still have your high school yearbook with you as an adult. Now. Oh yeah. Oh, I keep that at my parents' house. No, I love, and I also when I was a junior, I didn't want to. <laughs> you're gonna think this is classic, Mike. I didn't want to buy a yearbook my junior year <laughs> because it was expensive. And every page. Well, no, I just like took four pieces of paper and stapled them together. And just said like, "Hey, can you sign this?" And like, I just had like all my friends sign just like oh. a four pieces of paper instead of buying the whole yearbook that I'm not even in featured in. Yeah, I'm and right. I still have that. And I, that's like, I'm like, wow, that's my junior yearbook. year little yearbook. That so is I, a mic, a micism. Yeah. I'm not gonna buy it. Fucking. How much are yearbooks? Like, but I don't then know, it's you like won't know. Bucks. Like, you won't have any of the memories from that year. Yeah, I don't really care to remember the Why seniors when I was a it? junior. Why? What? Why weren't you in it? I feel like the yearbook is like four seniors. They were like the featured people oh, in the well. yearbook. No, ours was every grade every in high school. Grade. No, so and I think in my yearbook, the seniors were like the featured because they were the ones leaving. So it was like the senior yearbook. And if you huh. wanted to buy it as a junior, you could. But like freshmen and sophomores were never buying yearbooks. Oh, I have oh. all my yearbooks. Because it was I mean, like a retrospective of, of your last four years. And I don't care to like, I don't know. Maybe I, I'm wrong In about the fourth that. grade, I got every single kid in the grade to sign my yearbook. <laughs> and I thought I had broken the world record. Oh my God, you had yearbooks in fourth <laughs> I grade? I thought I was going to be on the news. Now you're wondering why you're going to so many damn weddings. Yeah. Yearbooks in fourth grade? Yeah, I had yearbooks all the way from kindergarten until I graduated. Yeah. 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 So did I. You got yeah. like 14 yearbooks now? <laughs> yeah. But the yes. just got a library. Let me open up the cabinet. Mm, mm, we yes. want my, my yes. ele- were your elementary school ones like paper, though? Um, They were hard up until nine, until like 2001. Oh. And and they were like pamphlety. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And then middle school, hot dry school, school, all up, hard. Middle school up, it's all like hard. So, and then some were like colors. Some years that they weren't. I don't know what was going on with the economy, but yeah. uh, <laughs> were you guys in your yearbooks? At yeah. All? Yes. yes. You all made a superlative. 
Yeah. Uh, I also like, like most on the front likely page to for something. I don't remember what it was. I'm uh, most yeah. likely to host a talk show. Oh, wow. Hey. There he is. I also came up with the concept for my senior year yearbook, which was. X marks our spot because it was 2000. <laughs> what? It's just like, it's we're so not crazy. laughing at you because it's, it's stupid. It's just like so bad. I love it. X it marks went, our spot. Because X it was 2010. It was 2010 and it was oh. the X, the Roman numeral 10. And like I was X. in the newspaper. Yeah. I was on the newspaper team and <laughs> the same teacher also hosted like, or taught the yearbook class as well. And she, I was like, so what, what are the ideas for the yearbook? She's like, it's like life is a highway. That's like the theme right now. And we're trying to do like road signs and stuff. And I was like, I think it should be X marks our spot. And we do a bunch of like, it's like a movie. Noodles. And she goes, she looked at me, she goes, that is the most brilliant idea ever. And she goes, can you come into the yearbook class and pitch it? Stop. So I fucking come in the yearbook class and I'm like, I know that there's been some ideas. You guys are talking about it. I just wanted to submit this. Wait, uh, so all your yearbooks had themes? Well, like, you know, Ours this is did. where the journey begins. Or, yeah, like, yeah. Me uh, memories. Like, there's, like, a theme. Life is and a highway, though? Life yeah. is a highway. Some was like, oh, there was one gear for the yearbook. They were like, guys, please buy the yearbook. If not enough people buy it, it's all going to be in black and white. <laughs> and so everyone was like, oh, guys, come on, make sure. Uh, no one wants a black and white yearbook. And we got it. And it was like, it's not just all black and white or it was like black and white was like the theme or whatever and it was all in oh color oh my god but uh it was a really good fucking yearbook everyone was like this is the best one and That's you don't have so it with you at your house no i don't know i guess because it just takes up too much space in my house and i kind of like when i go home to go revisit the memories at home okay i don't want to have it like accessible to me. that's fair x marks our spot our where we spot. fell apart he poisoned the weather it's like the mask. yeah i'm Devastated because I I won most musical, most musical, <laughs> Mike Sheffer. But you only have the four pages. Well, no, that no, you don't win superlatives junior year, so I wasn't going to be in got it. it got but it, got senior it. year, I won, and it's not most musical like Broadway. It's because I brought my if guitar. If I was a rich man, no, it's not that. It was like musician because I was a musician, and they took the picture of me and this other girl who was like a singer. And then the fucking yearbook class didn't submit that page <gasps> of most musical and some other group. <laughs> oh, no. So like, it's just missing from the yearbook. And I won the superlative and Damn. I'm like, you just, it's just that page is missing in the yearbook of my picture with my guitar forever. I was supposed to be like, wow, forever immortalized. It's like, I was a musician. That's Everyone's like a gonna remember. villain origin story. Yeah. Devastated. Sabotage. Devastated. Brutal. Yeah. I am on the cover because I started the ping pong club. And there is a picture of me holding up a ping pong you paddle. You made it. I'm, yeah, so I'm on the cover with that. And I'm on the first page of the yearbook, too. We should all bring in our yearbooks. Oh, Ooh. that would be so much fun. Doing a yearbook review. Uh -huh. Our senior yearbooks, I Were guess. Were you emo in high school? Or yes. was it before your time? I was, def I was like goth, and then I was emo. Like in your picture, you're goth? Yeah. I'm Middle pretty school. crappy. Uh, that was who always who won... Um, most unique was like the weird goth kid. <laughs> so fucked up. You know? No, unique. But I, yeah, yes. That I feel like was allowed on our school. Unique. We weirdest no. kid. Yes, that's <laughs> what it was. Biggest and freak. One of my friends won it and he was like, I'm going full vampire. And he put in like vampire lips and painted his face white. And his photo was like as a vampire to just be funny because it's like so funny. most unique is like weirdest kid. Yeah. 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 It would be interesting to compare like what all of the different schools had for superlatives yeah it's crazy to see tiktoks of like vintage Unique. here's a vintage video of high school in 2007 and i was I like i know <laughs> that's when i graduated i know i don't think our superlatives were in the yearbook though because oh. like that was like what did they just announce it on the loudspeaker uh it was like we did it at like our senior picnic was the super yeah we did it like in a little ceremony for it but it's wild but like you didn't have it in your yearbook i don't think so what because hmm. like it's wild, like in the fifties, like superlatives were like most handsome, best hair, yeah. <laughs> prettiest eyes, skinniest girl, yeah, yeah. <laughs> skinniest ankles, fattest ass, <laughs> fattest ass with no BBL, best. wealthiest, and then BBL version, most no, natural, for... beauty, most natural looking. Yeah, person. we had like best car, most which bought, yeah, okay, best if you're car rich. was. I think they got rid of that after my year because that's just like who has money. <laughs> yeah, and I hated the fucking kids who won that. Ugh, like it was the, always like some, it was like Mustang. Yeah. And I was like, oh, cool. Always a Mustang. Cool car. <laughs> yeah. Your dad bought it for you. Great. You're not <laughs> yeah. buying that with your fucking Cold Stone Creamery budget. <laughs> Check, yeah. Yeah. 
Did you guys like uh, get to paint your parking spots at your high school? No. Oh, it was like a free for all. We didn't have like assigned spots. Yeah, we didn't. Right. Oh, so you did here, it. But now, hmm. now the big trend at like other high schools, but you can like pay. It's like a, ch- a fundraiser. It's like a charity. You pay for your own spot, and then you get to paint your spot. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of smart. That's nice to like know you'll always have a spot. Because there were some times where I'd be a little nervous pulling up, and there'd be no fucking parking. You get there late, and it's always the last spot in the back. Yeah. We yeah. had student of the week or student of the month, and you got your own like spot next to the principal <laughs> in the uh, parking I, lot. I, I won that cool. in middle school, but we didn't have that in high school. Student, student of the month. Student of the How would they decide? Uh, I, don't know. I think you got nominated. Like teachers would be like, "I think this is a good kid." Mm. I think I have my. That's opinion. how I won prom queen. You won, won prom, prom queen? queen. Yeah, because the teachers <laughs> voted. <laughs> how am I just now? Oh, the teachers voted. Mm-hmm. Oh, you were prom queen. I was. Damn, and Damn. you were prom king, right? I was homecoming king. Homecoming to, king. I was homecoming prince. Well, no, I was homecoming prince sophomore and junior year. What? And the I prince? was nominated. King. Was there a whole court? Uh, Prince is just like you win it Homecoming for your Homecoming Jester. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Juggling. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just you. Yeah, they have like a court. Just a, a freshman wins, a sophomore wins, a junior oh, wins. And I did oh, it oh, two oh, years oh. in a row. But so the senior would be the king. Yes, but people didn't like the idea of Matt King being king. It just didn't look good on the ballot. Or maybe oh, they just didn't like you. you. Yeah. does rub me, rub me the wrong way. <laughs> They go, this fucking X marks the spot, fucking loser. X, X marks our spot. Our, our spot. spot. X marks our spot. Our Wait, spot. This fucking po- X marks our spot. It was a good yearbook. You know, like a lot of yearbooks are on eBay. Oh. Like, what? You can like probably look up your high school's yearbook, like, oh. and it's on eBay. That's and so. They usually sell pretty well. It's kind of sad that someone has to sell their yearbook. That well, means, maybe like, they're just like, I don't fucking care. Because they'd rather I give guess. it to someone who just says like, or no, sometimes people find them at like. A, th- a, a good sales will. or something. Yeah, and be yeah. like, oh, like from shit. the seventies. You can list yearbooks on eBay, and someone is just trying to find a copy of it, and you can sell them for like fifty bucks. I remember, it's, you know, you get like signatures. Like that was, I don't know if you guys did that, but the point of the yearbook is you have the pages in the back. You say, sign it, have a good summer. There was hags. one kid that I was like, hags, L Y L A B. That was love you be like on a brother. <laughs> Lilas. Um, Hackus. Hags, L Y L A B. What's Hackus? Have a kick ass. Have a kick ass. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, And there was a kid that I was like acquaintances with. And we were talking about the fact that, like, isn't it kind of cringe when, like, someone that you're not really that close with asks you to sign their yearbook? And I was like, yeah, that's like kind of cringe. Like, you don't really need someone's signature that you barely know. And, like, if I don't even know their last name, and we were like, yeah, it's kind of weird. And then I got my yearbook, and I thought that I was good friends with this kid. And I was like, hey, do you want to sign my yearbook? And he goes, didn't we talk about how this is weird? And I was like, oh, oh, but I thought we were like kind of boys. And he was like, I mean, I'll sign it. And then he signed my yearbook. And it was just like, how, and he literally wrote, have a good summer. And I was just like, oh, yeah. And I still look at him and I was like, fuck you. You shouldn't have made uh, me yeah, feel bad. Yeah, what's he like, doing now? Did you guys I ever like write a... the phone numbers, like your cell phone numbers oh, on yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. I would love yeah. just to pick it up and like start Call. calling everyone. Like, hey. FaceTime. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, have a great that? summer. Well, you wrote down the number of the yearbook. Just want to give you a call. What's <laughs> happening? That would be wild if somebody you went to school with signed your yearbook and now they're like a huge celebrity and they have their phone number. I'd be like, I wonder if that's still their number. Yeah. There was a big scandal in uh, my seventh grade yearbook, uh, the computer <laughs> class. The teacher's name was <laughs> Miss Young. And someone in the yearbook did the clip art image of like a computer, you know, like standard PowerPoint yeah. clip art stuff. But if you turned the yearbook upside down and if you looked under the computer in a little pink font, it said, Miss Young is a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) And everyone found out in our school that if you go to this page and look at this clip art and turn upside down, turn it upside (laughs) down, it says, Miss Young is a bitch. Imagine if TikTok was around during then. Oh, like the green screen. I should make a TikTok like explaining like a little <laughs> Easter egg. Did in the my person yearbook. get in trouble? Big time. <laughs> Huge. Uh, massively in trouble. Suspended. It, and you know what though? Yes. Yeah, I would have done it like in my senior year on my way out. Yeah. But you know props? They, props to him. Thanks for the memories though. Yeah, like honestly. I look forward to looking so at that funny. all the time. Can I ask Everyone, you a question? Yeah. Was Miss Young a bitch? I didn't I didn't have her. Oh, mm. uh, okay, okay. She probably was. Was she known for if like the person a, who's working on yearbook? thinks you're a bitch you probably right. are the yearbook class yeah. was always the chillest the nicest yeah. like doesn't give a fuck person interesting yeah this a bitch. wow let's have him on the oh, pod <laughs> um well i do want to read one that always pisses me off because okay. i'm just like 
this doesn't even make sense to me. <laughs> Let's hear it. Does anyone else not watch a movie because it's too long, but end up watching four hours of a TV series instead? That's yes, different. Yes, it's different. That's very different. A movie you're committed for hours. A TV show you can start and stop at any hour you want. Also, sure. I hate the beginning of movies. It's always like- Especially if it's four hours. It's so slow and they're setting up the characters and I don't know what the fuck is going I'm, on. I'm the same TV way. shows, they just get to the point. Here's what we're dealing with. yesterday. <gasps> Did you like it? I do. I'm like four episodes in. It's so good. It's really good. Sorry. I like a show during the day. If I'm like eating lunch or something, I want to pop on a show. But like I like ending my day with a movie because there's a beginning, middle, and end because- if I'm watching every show ends like on a cliffhanger, usually I like, guess. Oh, I can't yeah. wait for the next one, and then I feel like I, Pitch, Trish, and I, we look at each other. We're like, should we do another one? And then we're <laughs> yes, ended up watching yes. four episodes in yeah. one sitting. That's taking up more time than what the movie would have been. That's because it's more enjoyable. It's more fun. T. But I wish this is my pitch to the streaming <clears throat> services. They should have like HBO, Amazon, Hulu, whatever. They should have like channels. Where there's someone curating movies and you can just turn oh. on the comedy Amazon Prime channel and you're just in the middle of a movie. Yeah. And like I don't have to decide. I don't have to like watch through the credits and scroll through like if I just want to eat something quick. What's on the comedy channel on Netflix? What's on the Hulu channel of drama? And just be able to like also Pop discover in. movies that I would never watch. Be like, oh, this is interesting. I'll finish this. They don't want you to be able. They want you to go revisit stuff that you. Or they want you just to watch shit you haven't seen. They but, want you but to curated. get cable TV. Like I remember I would find yeah. so many movies. I'd be scrolling. What's on HBO right now? And I would see, oh, I'm 30 minutes into this movie. I'll just finish it. And then I'll figure out what happened in the first 30 minutes yeah. later. And you kind of just like discover you can't discover anything now. And I just, why don't they just have someone curating movies and TV shows that you could just discover? Well, you could, if you have like Hulu Live or YouTube TV, it's, it's cable. So yeah, but then you're that. on like cable and then you're dealing with commercials and like, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's That's like, true. I want to know if this is on Paramount Plus and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I want to watch this later. I think Freebie does that. Where they have just like streaming there's stuff. There's also ads. Mm. Yeah. That's there's my like little channels. pitch. I don't know. I think it's a great idea, I, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Aaron, hate it. Yeah. Any thoughts, Aaron? Really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> prom queen over here. <laughs> prom, prom, prom queen. Brown paper magazine. What's that? Josie and the Pussycats. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching another episode of your favorite podcast, Good Influences. Be sure to uh, do all the things. Follow us on Instagram. Send us an email. Leave a comment. Like, subscribe. Find our subreddit, but don't be mean. Oh, yeah. Find our subreddit. Link below. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Toodaloo. Cool. Toodle.